Hey, sneaky and expect tonight. Tonight we've got Zubuntu, 1004 Beta 2, and we're going to give it some love. Because nobody seems to love it anymore. Now we've got Lubuntu and everything else. But hey, I'm all for down the dog. So let's have a little look round on the new one. Basically, not too much has changed, but I'm just going to show you the system monitor. As you can see, it doesn't use hardly any RAM at all. Just over 150 here, a standing start, so that's not too bad really. Well, yeah, I've got a giga frame, but if you only had 256, you could get away with that, as long as you had a decent amount of swap. That'd probably give you a giga swap, I suppose, something like that. And it's not using the CPU either, even though I'm recording at the same time. So that's super duper. That's that bit out of the way. Next, where should we go to? I don't know, where should we go? We'll go from the beginning. Let's have a little quit. Time and calendar. Sound. And this is where I thought we went back to the bad old days. Because when I first put it up, we had no sound, and I thought, here we go again. But all it was, HDA Intel had chosen that my house mixer, and you really need to use a pulse for your audio. As soon as you change it to pulse, we're up and away and running. So that was that one out of the way. Whew. Relief, he says to himself. So, what's next, shall we say? We go back up. That's my phone connection. Recording. Help. Firefox. Places. Places also hasn't changed too much, but as you can see, it runs really, really fast. This machine's an old Pentium 4, 3 gig, I think. So we're going to applications. My, no, yes, now I'm going to the software center. What am I talking about? Now, the software center has now replaced Add and Remove in Ubuntu and Zubuntu and Kubuntu, but it's only just got done in Zubuntu. And as you can see, there's plenty here for you to have a look at. There's a couple I didn't know about before, or that I do now. Arista Transcoder. That's a new one on me. I've downloaded it, so I'm going to play with it while I've still got Zubuntu on the system. Movidia Media Center is another one I thought. Hmm, I've never heard of that one before. But someone will obviously tell me that it's been there for a while and I haven't been looking properly. So anyway, it's there if you want to browse movies on your telly. Although I've done uh, one element the other day, didn't I? So you might as well have that after and do it on your TV. So, you know, a bit pointless really. Anyway, back to what we're doing. XFC settings, usual, any new ones in there? Not really, only um, on board settings are the only different ones really from before. So, nothing too new. You just soon off your file manager. Usual basic games. This bit I liked, they brought back GIMP. They was going to boot it out, but they brought back GIMP. Is it a good idea, in my opinion? Okay, there's that one I downloaded earlier. We'll be playing with that. Avdimax, I've also downloaded, works perfectly. For zero DVD, X how is your music player? You can always change it for something else. Did you care call my desktop, of course? A movie player and open shot video editor, I've also downloaded, works perfectly. So that was all nice and hunky dory. You've got Firefox web browser, a Thunderbird for your mail. And you've also got Pigeon, remote desktop viewer, Skype, I've installed myself, blah blah. Uh, Thunderbird is Thunderbird 3, uh, a lot better and easier to use, so that's a nice one. It actually finds all your settings for you, which is even better, even better, you know what I'm saying. Skype I installed as I said earlier, all works, no problem. Abbey Word and Numeric are your basics, remember, because it's run XFCE and it's Ubuntu, you don't get OpenOffice to start. Well, to be really honest with you, I find Abbey Word a lot faster anyway, even though the new OpenOffice is quite quicker, they've got rid of some of the boot times. I like Abbey Word, hey, but that's just me. Get Dictionary and Orage as well. Gigolo is for viewing remote file systems. I've not actually used that yet, but I've never heard of it before either. Uh, hardware drivers, that's another thing for you to look at. Now, I'm going to look for my hardware drivers, because I've got an NVIDIA card on here. Now, as you can see, it says they're all downloaded. And that's the one I would use normally. But the driver's activated, but not carrying, currently in use. For the simple reason that there's a, there's a new open source driver they're using at the moment, as far as I'm aware, and it works alright in 2D, no 3D at the moment now, so you can't have everything, can you? Even though you want it. Okay, let's open up the Fox. Firefox is your standard browser, there are others on the market if you really want them. Now I'm going to take you straight to the Zubuntu page. Now remember, we're running 10.04 Beta 2 here. You can download it if you want to, but it's up to you if you don't mind it crashing. If it does, it may not ever, but hey, who knows. You can download it from this page. 
some release notes there, so we're going to have a look at them, and I'll just point some things out for you. Put a scratching, cross blah 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 You can read all that yourself, you know. I think I'll read it for you. Right, on board bin, as we said before. So, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this looks game. Gimp is standard again, like that one. That's super duper. We've been through that anyway. Simple scan as well. Uh, software center, we've been through. So there's nothing there that we've not done, really, is there, when you think about it? What else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, I've not had generic crash, really. So, hey, maybe it's not on my machine. Uh, the other one there, Pulse Audio is fixed. No, it's not. It didn't work straight away. But hey, as I said before, you can't have anything or everything. Or well, anything and everything. Who knows? Nearly finished now. Basically, all I'm saying to you is, if you want something different, a bit faster, give Zubuntu a bit of a go. Because it's feeling a bit lost now. It, you know, it wants some people to come and love it and give it a big hug. So anyway, that's it really. Sneaky and Linux going out. See you later.